Sony has been stifling creativity for years now. Unfortunately, they have become very strict with content allowed on their platforms, and developers are afraid to just be creative and make projects they're passionate about because their hard work could be banned, and another game is sadly being censored because of Sony. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So this uh, situation did happen a couple of days ago, but I still wanted to cover it. This is from P-Cube Asia. Uh, hi everyone, for Alice Gear Aegis CS, we have had some queries regarding differences between the releases on each platform. PlayStation versions will have the below differences, which can also be seen in the image and video previews. So they do point out a couple, like the character Ray Azure Flash costume back in is netted in a patch, and the Aces costumes removed from six characters. They also go on to say, these are the only differences between consoles. The Nintendo version is unchanged, and we can assure that there are no differences in the visual novel scenes, characters themselves, or voice lines aside from the above list. Many thanks to everyone for your support on this release. Now, this is actually a pretty highly anticipated title, and unfortunately now, yes, there is some censorship surrounding this game. But I'm not even really here to talk about what specifically is censored, but that it is. Because looking at these changes, they are pretty minor, and I actually think that it's really good that they came out and admitted the censorship before people started purchasing this game, because unfortunately, that is something that we see happen far too often. Publishers and developers stay silent because they are afraid they are going to lose out on sales, and then we don't actually know it's censored until people have spent their hard-earned money on the title and on a product they might have not supported if they knew was censored in the first place. So I do really want to give them props for coming out and being very clear, giving us a list, showing us the different examples of what is censored. But as you can see here, are the two main ones on the left is the Nintendo Switch version, and on the right is the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 version. Like I mentioned, not you know, drastically different, but there are some differences, like the back is more covered up. So um Again, for me, it's not really about what is censored here because it's not like we're talking about voice lines and dialogue. We're not talking about those visual novel scenes and there are only a few costume differences. But this still matters so much because it is Sony stifling creatives. We have seen this happen hundreds of times at this point. I have to talk about situations like this extremely often because unfortunately, yes, developers do have to censor a lot of their content so that their video games make it onto PlayStation platforms. And this is very sad to see. I wish that these uh, creatives didn't have to do this, that they could just make something that they felt very passionate about and felt very happy about, and then it could just be released. But that is not the case a lot of the time. The problem here isn't really these developers and the publisher. It is Sony forcing them to censor yet another game over minor things like costumes. These are the challenges that companies like P-Cube face. I don't think that um, in this case they were really worried about Sony's requirements at all because obviously there is content that ultimately had to be censored, but for some developers they definitely don't make content they know will offend Sony, and it's scary to think about how toned down some games are and they don't come out and just honestly admit what has been changed. There are people here praising them for their honesty, which I will read in a minute, but 
unfortunately, I do have several uh, other examples to show you guys. Uh, this happened back in July of 2021, but the PlayStation release of Doki Doki Literature Club censored the iconic scene in order to comply with Sony's content regulations. This was a major case that I talked about. Uh, and then there are situations like this. Sony shames sex appeal yet again as Death and Request 2 outfits were censored. And there were a lot of outfits censored in uh, some cases, very drastic ways in this game. We also had Dead or Alive 3, uh, Extreme Scarlet, massacred by censored. This has been going on for years at this point. I've talked about so many cases of Sony censorship, but it just never ends. And it all leads back to this. Back in 2019, Sony admitted that they were censoring content to protect the children and due to the Me Too movement. So these were their excuses. They wanted to protect individuals so they, you know, weren't allowing uh, more adult content in games on their platforms anymore. It says an article from Wall Street Journal has confirmed that Sony does indeed have restrictions in place for games with sexual content, depicting characters that seem underage, with a spokeswoman confirming the rise of the Me Too movement to be one of the causes of their more strict practices. And another issue uh, that we have with Sony and also Valve when they censor games is that there are not clear and concise rules in place. You might have two games that are extremely similar and one might be outright banned and one might be allowed on the platform because the employees are not following very clear guidelines and unfortunately for developers who are making games they don't have really anything to go off of they just have to hope that it is toned down enough and that it is tame enough for sony that it actually gets onto the playstation platforms it also says, according to a spokeswoman at Sony, guidelines have been created so that creators can offer well-balanced content on the platform, and gaming does not inhibit the sound growth and development of children, and she declined to divulge when they were implemented or to cover them in detail. And it has been years since they have said this, and they haven't you know, made any other statements. It's not like they have released new guidelines and updates to this. We just see as consumers content that we want to consume being censored and heading back to the P-Cube Asia post. People are praising them for being so honest because this unfortunately doesn't happen often enough. They are usually afraid of admitting what has been changed so that they don't face backlash, but people are pretty happy with them here saying things like props to being upfront about change like these. Yeah, I mean, I personally am glad that they at least showed a list and examples. People are saying things like, P-Cube, thank you for your honesty. You declared all of the changes with the comparisons. More other mainstream publishers, on the other hand, hide changes from the public and sell us unwelcome products. Thanks for being up front. Wish more companies were. Guess that means Nintendo Switch version for me pre-ordered now. Sucks because I would rather have it on my PlayStation 5, but I don't support censorship, especially in a case like this where I don't see how it's warranted. So yes, if you do still want to support this game, I highly recommend getting it on the Nintendo Switch because there are no changes on that platform, as they have said. And if you purchase the PlayStation version, you are going to end up with some tone down censored content. I obviously hope that we see uh, less censorship in the future with Sony, but I highly doubt it. They have been doing it for years at this point, but of course, if there are any more, um, you know, examples of censorship and situations like this in the future, I will cover them, whether I make tweets about them or independent videos on them. But for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.